I feel like Vitafly gonna recap this and say God he caught a 30 on the dime roll. So all y'all wanna know what happened, I'm gonna tell you what happened. He got smoked. That one was crazy out of the game. Sometimes that's Peter, nobody that knows body. Hit his area with 51. Everything in the Vitafly. We used to rapping like that. Slim Savage, Slim Lincoln, Slim Lincoln Infinity Don't need you to confirm what I'm finna be I can wind it down with my enemies I can show the blind what I get to see I can teach the why something interesting Change the paralyzed is not feeling me I can close the fine identity You already know what it is man Salute to the subscribers that notification gang Got my dog back with me Showtime SP to nobody that knows bodies Pow! Uh huh You know I, I gotta sit up high now You know what I'm saying <laughs> Because once Charlie Clips mm -hmm. not only says your name, but he also <laughs> throws a bar in it. You, you, my price went up, my chair went up. You know what I'm okay, saying? Okay. You feel me? I just, you know, I, you could have got me something a little bit, you know. So I, ain't, I don't do this. You know what it could lift you? Yeah. The great pumpkin. <laughs> the great pumpkin. This is about uh, to be all types of bars. RiceGangClothing.com for the merchandise. You heard me right. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. Making sure that uh, everybody gets a lot of their stuff, that they everything that they ordered. Uh, we'll get some more stuff out this week, and we got some different designs coming in, too. I know y'all want to see more, 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 more. We got some real special things coming. Mm. So, uh, let's just jump right into some of the daily proceedings this evening. Mm -hmm. We got a lot of different things to talk about, but uh, first and foremost, let's touch on this uh, Hitman, Calico, the live stream. They went back and forth, you know, pretty much what it is, right? What it is, right? Yeah. How did this happen? From what it seems is... Hitman, who's taking his profile to the next level, you know, as far as like when it comes to popularity, when it comes to, and I was thinking about this earlier, right? Uh -huh. I think if he's not one, if he's not two, he's, he's top three and he's not three. Battle Raps MVPs as far as profile, how much they're worth, yeah. and how much they bring in. Uh -huh. Because and, and you gotta watch this, right? I know everybody's gonna have their own person, oh, this person, this person, this person, and I get it, right? When Hitman battles, he doesn't lose. Not often. I think the last battle that I could really remember Hitman losing was against Verb. That's the way you talk to your son. And that's one of the best battles that ever happened. It's true. That's one of the best battles that ever fucking happened. I, I, I would say Surf. I would have to say Surf. Okay, that. I mean, it's a debate. Like, that was debatable. Yeah, that was debatable. I mean, but the but last real clear, like, clear. I mean, even that battle wasn't a clear loss, though. Right. He used to say, you were, you, you were on the right track. Keep in the going. last, I will say this. <laughs> In the last late. five years. No. Last five years. Mm -hmm. 20, 20, uh, 2015, mm -hmm. 16, 17, 18, 19, all these years, him versus Rock, one. Mm -hmm. Him versus Shine, one. one. Him and two and two with John John, one. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. He don't play with his opponents, you know what I'm saying? No. And that's one thing that I will say about Hitman, regardless of what he's done and the amount that he gets paid is real. Like he Hitman don't rap for chicken nuggets. He ain't, you, don't, you see him on quarantine? Mm -hmm. You see Hitman battling anybody, just any random motherfucker for hundred dollars? No, you're never gonna see it. So I mean, he also he. You know, I mean, he fair. is on wild now. Yes, yes, he, he, he got other money. He got other money, which is a good thing. And he's now he's on YouTube now too. What do yeah. you think about the whole? Uh, what do you think about? Because I'm gonna tell you where it started at. What do you think about the uh, the, the the prank? The, all right, so. I mean, you know, the way I the way I work on Twitter, you know, y'all y'all may y'all may be right. I don't be on Twitter like I don't post like that. I'm like a retweet god. You feel me? I retweet, you know, and I'll throw a gif in there, you know what I'm saying, because it's funny. So when I seen the shade room put it up or 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 I forgot who threw it up there in the air, says Hitman Holla cheating on this girl with uh uh the then it's pictures of the they show the thread of right, since right, you right. since you block me now, blah 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 blah. Mm -hmm. I'm looking at the picture like oh, Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, I wasn't, you know, I ain't mad. You know what I'm saying? Granted, you know what I'm saying? We don't know the allegations. And I always stand for the man's side, especially if it's somebody that I, I, that doesn't come off like, uh, like you know, like a, a, a womanizer, if you will, or, or a cheating type guy. You know what I'm saying? If this was future, yeah, I would believe every bit of that. You know what I'm saying? Right, right, right. Cuba Gooden Jr., especially now, I believe all of the shit. Yeah. Yeah. But when we talk about Hitman Hollow, we're like, nah, he got to be getting his bread, you know, one way or another. But needless to say, I still had my gripes. I ain't want to post or jump out on a little, oh my God, one of the good ones is gone. Nah. Right, right, right. Then, 
and like I'm supposed to because this is the total opposite of what people do on Twitter. You know, they see something, they react. You know, they tweet, then they retweet me. I watch, I peep, and then I'll retweet. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, write that down. Mm -hmm. Um, uh, well, I waited later on that night, and then Hitman Holler threw up the trailer for the the, the ultimate it's a prank. Yeah, the ultimate prank for his girl. And I'm like, oh. So, um, you know, to, to cut it all the way short, um, I ain't, I ain't like it. You know what I'm saying? There's, there's, there's a, there, I'm not big on pranks. You know what I'm saying? I'm just not a big person on that. Mm -hmm. So, you know, you pranking your girl that you're cheating, that's, I don't think that's funny. Um, cause I seen a girl, uh, do the same thing where, uh, uh where the guy pranked a girl where he was trying to hit on her and then all of a sudden he pulled into a Ferrari and now yeah. she was on his D. Yeah. The one I really don't like is the one where the girl deletes, uh, her man's, all his 2K mob players. Oh yeah. Yeah, no, nah, that ain't, no, nah, prank is over. Prank is right. over. Murder is happening. <laughs> but, overall, I just wasn't a big fan of it. I didn't look at it like, you know, as big as Twitter might have blown it up. Well, here's where the, uh, rubber met the road. Um, Clean Paper had tweeted some shit like, tell Sin, who's this girl, if she needs somebody to talk to, I'm here. You know what I'm saying? And Calico either laughed at it or, or re whatever he did. You know Emoji what I'm saying? Laughs or Emoji laughs. Whatever he did, right? So that led to this whole falling out between Calico and Hitman. He was saying, you know, you laughing, you supposed to be my brother, but you laughing mm. at something that somebody is saying about me in a prank, you know what I'm saying? That's like if I have a girl and I prank her and somebody that I don't rock with at all is clowning about it and you laughing with them. So that's the kind of, that's where it okay, started. I see. Yeah, all right, so I'm, I'm sure she loaded up with somebody in the corner. Look at these niggas emotional. Emotional. But, uh, that was the number one comment. <laughs> so but, uh, I kept reading it. But, uh, you know, it, it, but it, there's some different things that came out of that. It was like, you know, if it, and Calico looked at it like, if we battle rap joking around or we battle rap trolling, I could still see you say what up to you and not feel no way about it. Mm -hmm. But Hitman's stance was, I don't do the shit that y'all do. Like, I don't do the battle rap joking and, and, and playing around with niggas on. I don't do that. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So he basically was saying, he was saying, I don't do that. And then Big T's name was brought up because he was saying that, um, Big T was saying that Hitman's acting like I didn't beat him. You know what I'm saying? Like, he's acting like he's way up mm -hmm. here now. And we came from all the same grind, that Midwest thing from the bottom. Okay. And he's saying like when they battled, he beat him back in the day. Mm. But what I would say in, in response to that is with what Hitman is doing right now, he's put himself in a position to be a planet above everybody else. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like there was other people in battle rap that was on Wild and Out, but Hitman just made the most of it so far besides Conceited. You know what I'm saying? Charlie Clips is doing good for himself, yeah. but Hitman took that it's platform. It's them three. It's them three. Yeah, them three have turned themselves into like worldwide talents with that. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like Conceited has probably two million on Instagram. Hitman has one point something on Instagram. Mm -hmm. Charlie Clips is up there too. Like they have took these platforms and made big, big time names out of them. And I guess he was looking at it like, you know, um, a friend of my enemy is my enemy. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, that's how he's looking at it. Like you I, know I feel you. And he's basically saying, and I mean, like Clean Paper, you know, he, he dibbles and dabbles in and out of Twitter, you know what I'm saying? But uh, I didn't really see, I mean, I heard what he said because they explained it, mm. but uh, what's, your, what's your thoughts, man? Like, do you think it's this awesome, like, emotional shit or what, man? I mean, all right, if y'all as tight as y'all are supposed to be, or if y'all as tight as y'all think y'all are, this didn't have to be a live, this didn't have to be a conversation a lot. But nowadays, if it didn't happen on live, it didn't yeah, happen. I don't care. <laughs> our conversations right. is our conversations. Right. When we go live, that's yeah, our, we, we this naturally, is this is our natural conversation as us. But when we have, there's a few phone calls we've had with other people mm -hmm. that would never yeah, get never, recorded. Yeah, never you get what I'm saying? Because right. we're men at the end of the day. Right. Now, is it a, is, now, I can also agree with Hitman Holly because I can kind of be on his side too where, People be doing too much on Twitter, and I don't. And and for Calico, that is that's his mo. That on Twitter he is a troll, mm -hmm. and like and he's good at it. You know what I'm saying? Like he he'll egg on anybody. Anything good he can find a bad in. Anything bad he'll find a good in. That's just something that Calico does right. on Twitter. Now as far as Terranio is concerned. You know what I'm saying? It's only a few people that know him as a man and they know that that's just him playing around and stuff like mm -hmm. that. Same same sense with with you on Twitter. Mm -hmm. Man, when I tell you you the most active on Twitter, I don't I don't retweet nothing unless I see you double back on it. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Because I follow you, but that's your MO. Mm -hmm. But you would never 
come at me or anything no. about, you know what I'm saying? Not, especially not on Twitter. And we haven't had a conversation first, like, yo, let's set the Twitter world yeah, on fire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, you know what I'm saying? It's, that's where the emotional factor is. And that's what going live in IG does. It shows, it shows battle rappers... Um, being emotional and this is just nothing but angles for every other battle rapper that sees this you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying now you just open up a whole nother wound for Hitman Holla like mm -hmm. there's gonna be so many bad uh, bars about uh, Hitman Holla cheating and not cheating mm -hmm. and then Calico being who he is like it, it's just it's all fuel for the fire so mm -hmm. plus um, it's quarantine I'll take anything at this point <laughs> I know yeah I think we'll take I think we'll take anything at this point um and this was a uh, Another topic that I had seen, and since it's all Midwest, I'm just gonna throw it in here too. Okay. Uh, Head Ice and Averb, like they're going back and forth heavy right now. You know what I'm saying? Um, they, 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 they at each other right now. Cause you know, um, Verb was saying that he wanted to battle Head Ice on the roof. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So, uh, you know, here's here's some of the things. Uh, Head Ice said, "Then why are we talking, bozo? Cut the cornball shit." You trying to put your nose in the air only to smell my cologne. I'm too tall for the small shit. Stop bitching and let's go already. This is what I said? Yeah, he said that's the verb. Yo, I, bar, I, yo. I, he talk like an OG, put your, bro. You only putting your head in the air to smell, smell my, my cologne. cologne. <laughs> yo. Part my back, strut my shoulders, blatant disrespect that, that I does, does the soldiers. I'm cooking, B. I, I mean, even though you, you want a higher chair, I mean, you still looking up to me. That's facts. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Yo, yo, tell you, yo, I used to tell yo probably, it's how yo. he talk to you. You know what I'm yo, saying? Like, talk to yo, you for a second. I never forget the one thing that I said on um, on uh, my expert opinion. He said, "Listen, you can't be out here talking all crazy and you got mustard on your shirt." I was like, "Wait, wait, that, that has so many layers. Like, it was like you can't be out here talking crazy and you out here looking like a mess. Like, y'all niggas, yeah, you can't do it. Ice is talking to niggas, but anyway. And so verb says, "Hey, Ice, <laughs> let's deal in fact." Fuck, fuck opinion. <laughs> you versus me would be your biggest match, right? But the funny thing is, me versus you is just another night. Mm. What's your thought, man? Come on. That's man. somebody who's congregated with the congregators. You know what I'm saying? Mm. <laughs> like you, Nominating with, with the, the nominators. You know what I'm ah, dominating I, with the dominators. I've awarded the ones that awarded me. Oh, wait, what? <laughs> oh, man. So, uh, oh, with Verb, shit. man, like, it's, it's, it's God talk, but Verb ain't wrong. But my my reply to that is it depends on the platform, mm. Mm. and I think it will only be RB. Thank it will only be RB. Just took the words just, right out. It only yeah, way. It only it's even verb. Ice is not on URL, mm -mm. and um, Verb he battled um, he battled Lux on there. Mm -hmm. But I, if you ask me to this to right now, URL is not booking head ice for no big time matchup. Nope. Nope. No way. The last time I seen ice on URL was K Shine. <laughs> Oh, but he was fired up. He was Isn't fired up. He, he was said, fired up. I, I ain't got to give him the Izzy dead kick. Tell him how the legs twitch. <laughs> we still remember that shit. Shine still won that battle, though. I'm just saying. Just, I mean, but Shine was like, <laughs> yeah, he was just <laughs> 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 Whenever, I, like, there needs to be a, a conversation where we gotta run down. I think if there's anybody who has a, a very, very good resume, we can go down Shine resume. And, yeah, and then Head Ice to end this off, he said, you got over 10 losses. Your biggest accomplishment is Mook and Lux. Mm. Those are the only two people I didn't beat from Harlem. I could name three niggas from St. Louis niggas that watched you. Talk kindly. Better yet, we can do this ourselves. We don't need no middleman mm. slash league to set this up. That just answers your question. Right, right. They don't even. You're right. You're actually right. You niggas really don't need a lead. You need a camera, a pay-per-view, and some undercards. Yep. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. A nice, a nice little big house. You know what I'm saying? We got enough space where you can get about 30, 40 people. Mm-hmm. That'll be kind of fire. Pay-per-view. Pay-per-view. Don't watch Battle Live. Watch don't, do Battle that, Live. don't do that caffeine. Give don't. me that Rex and Ill three rounds. You're right for him. Listen. You're cycle for him. But here's the thing, though. I'm about to say, I mean, like, you know, we get some hand, you ice, some ice be talking to niggas, it's fun, ice be talking, but at the end of the day, it's like in the old head, man, you just, you just talking, mm -hmm. you just talk, verb out here killing, verb out here said, oh, word, who the boss, who's the he boss, smoked, he smoked, I'm he smoked, he smoked the, the quarantine joint, though, 
You still ain't you playing with this quarantine. You went crazy in the quarantine, Joe. Anybody can kill a camera by themselves. <clears throat> okay. You know what I'm saying? When you standing in front of somebody, and that's, and, that, and that's no slight, you know what I'm saying? Ice has always had that aura. Yeah. Ice had that I'm the GOAT aura when battle rap wasn't even relevant. Like, yeah. when whenever you seen them Sub-Zero battles, Ice walked in, it just they they just changed the the, the view of it changed different. The crowd the got quiet. Up a little high Come in, just like and then like he looking at like, the nerve of you. Mm. Like it's 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 different. But Verb had the Verb actually. Black Star when he did the strap my shoulders, mm -hmm. the tech nine, mm -hmm. the piece. You know what I'm saying? He did it, he battled him. One of my first few battles was him versus Ty Knox. That, that's like, oh, that, yeah, back, yeah, yeah that's back in the crates. You got to flip back on a couple of the uh, records for that. Way back. Um, but, uh, but no, you got to look at, you got, but this is Verb we're talking about here. Mm -hmm. I, I <laughs> not one time am I going to talk trash about Verb, when it, especially not this Verb. Mm -hmm. Vegan Verb, Island right. God Verb. Listen, Verb has made it, Verb made us watch a battle where we could have sworn up and down, he lost. Mm -hmm. First time we seen it, he lost. Like, it just wasn't good. But it's like fine wine. Somebody, he had to go to war with somebody that was the king of the fine wine that's more defined to give you a battle that was way more potent right after that. Come I mean, on. but Verb, yeah, you're right. But Verb did do something that is very, very, very remarkable and cannot be ever taken away from him. He opened up the door for a whole region. True. Like he open. I don't give I don't a know. fuck about Ice no. opened the door for Hulk. No. But but no. Well, I, 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 Mook kind of opened the door because battle rap was Mook and Rex okay. and all of them. But was the was the main stage and they still are. Mm. But uh, <laughs> what I'm saying is, um, motherfucking Verb mm. was the first one when he came over here and battled against that SB in the middle of the street. The yep. Guardian Angels mm -hmm. ducking like that. That opened up mm -hmm. the door. For that niggas ain't no niggas in St. Louis can rap. All we knew was Nelly with the hers and nerves yep, and words. <laughs> Yo, I swear when it, when when Verb came mm -hmm. to New York in battle, mm -hmm. ninety percent of the niggas who watched that didn't even know where St. Louis was on the fucking map. Nope. If you put a blindfold, if you put if you told a nigga, if you if you wipe all the states off the map and tell all the niggas that was on the East Coast at that time, mm -hmm. point out St. Louis, I got a million dollars for you, and many niggas who have a million dollars. Ain't that the John, um, they would the not John. even know. I mean, you know there's gonna be some people that like, oh I knew, Listen, but there ain't many people. In some of these rap, niggas still don't know where St. Louis is. In battle rap, it was really only two cities in the beginning, okay? Yeah. It was New York and it was, it was Philly. Philly. It was Philly. That's what That's it. It, that was it. Because in that market, that was the small circle. But as Battle Rap grew, we grew. But that's another that's another notch in Averb. Well, Averb takes another jab. Nah, my biggest accomplishment was opening the door for a whole reason. Mm -hmm. Being from a place that don't have shit, unlike you spoon-fed niggas where you are. Mm -hmm. Do you even have a million view battle? Mm -hmm. You will never be looked at how I'm looked at. Mm -hmm. You just regular. And Ice says... You a motherfucking right. <laughs> you a internet junk. You gotta stop talking like that. Correct, you lame. We put our region on the map. You was a nobody, and you still to me. A nigga from Harlem, blue breath for you. A nigga from Harlem gonna take it out you. Now stop being a bitch and pick a rooftop to die on. Yo, <laughs> yo, that's good. That's good. That's good. yo, that's good. Ice man. But listen, Verb ain't the Verb ain't the one though. I'm just saying, Verb ain't the one. Like you sound advice. Me and Ice sound alike. <laughs> You do, yeah. I'm yeah. crack, crack. You more like flounder type. Mm. You know what I'm saying? I can do that shit that he talk, I'm telling you. But I ain't gonna fuck with it. You know what I'm saying? I know that's your shit, so I ain't gonna do verb, that. Verb, go out. <coughs> he said, all right, cool. Put, verb ain't scared. You think Verb's scared to go to Harlem and battle on no. any of them rooftops? Mm. 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 Ain't gonna happen. What? what? No. Mm. Verb ain't scared of that. So that I get that. Verb is also saying, hey, it depends on where you pick this fight at. Because on one side, it's gonna look like I'm going to murder you. You might want to pick. You might want to pick a side where I might seem a little bit more human. I'm gonna be honest though. Right now, 2020, it's Verb. More Verb is there. He's the one. Verb is the Verb. It, it, listen, okay. Verb has got gotten around Lux and Mook. Fuck whether you feel like he won or lost. He got around both of them. Mm. What What tells me that he can't? Get around ice. Like I don't think there's anything. Nothing. That that. Nothing. You know what I'm saying? Nothing. <laughs> like, like, like. Let's be, let's be for real. Like we got to really be for real. Like we got to really, really be for real with this shit. Next question. Okay, we got. To, <laughs> I'm about to say if we gonna be for real. We got to really be for real with this shit. Like we can't be fronting. Like, oh, we got it like this. We got it like, like. Mm -mm. He got like 
We 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 you know. Ice you know. I, Ice you 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 did lose to Chiller. And it was bad. Okay. Okay. I'm just saying, you know, like, and then you know your championship reign as the king of the dot champ. I'm not gonna shit on it, but I mean they kind of threw you people that was, you know. Like, for real, for real, Cortez really almost got you out of there. Like, mm. you know what I'm saying? Mm. But because we talked about, because of, like, the listen to these names, you think Cortez would lose to Ice on King of the Dot? It don't sound right. Mm -hmm. Cortez would kill Ice on URL. Mm. Cortez would kill Ice on in Verbal War Zone on the beat. Oh, man, that would sound cold, though. I'm just saying. But, you know what I'm saying? But where Ice is, Ice is. On King of the Dot, like he has that niche. On there, he is one of the kings. Mm -hmm. That's no debate. But if we talking about going on a rooftop in the hood, it can only go, Verb ain't scared to go nowhere. Mm -hmm. So we we're we're wondering which ice we're gonna get. Mm -hmm. We're gonna get that King of the Dot glorified ice. We are gonna get that that Black Star ice. I really want the Black Star ice. You get what I'm saying? Verb, you're gonna get Verb no matter what Verb. Yeah, 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 I don't think that's... Rap right. circles are rap. <clears throat> I don't think there's no denying that. Yeah. Um, okay, okay, okay. I think we got a couple more things to speak on. We might... Well, this is turning into a podcast, so we might as well just uh, keep it running. Just keep, keep it rolling. Keep it going? Just keep it rolling. Keep it going? Just keep it going. I right, keep it going. Um, so... Oh, yeah. It just became the Nobody's Fly. Talk, talk, <laughs> talk to him. Yeah, you know I mean? Talk to him. Just always remember that. Talk to him. We, 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 we out here now. <clears throat> we we okay. out here. Well, go ahead. Episode five, right? Yeah, five, yeah, five, five, five. Okay, so um, this is a this is a very very serious question in regards to battle raps. Mm -hmm. Are Geechee and Rum Nitty keeping battle rap alive during quarantine? Yes. These niggas drop a battle every forty eight to seventy two hours. Yes. They became battle raps essential workers. Mm -hmm. Geechee got he's dropped a, he's dropped so many battles in quarantine that I don't even remember them all. If I tried to remember, all I remember is he battled Saga most recently. Are we talking we'll sterilized or we not talking sterilized? I don't even remember. It don't, I don't even know what's what at mm -hmm. this point. Um, Rumney has dropped a lot of battles during quarantine. Mm -hmm. Why is it that you think, because they? I, I said it, it, it's becoming the, the, the ultimate West League at this point because them niggas is battling every day. Why is it that they're battling so much? And um, if, they, if they lose a battle or, or don't win, I'm like, nigga, he just battled yesterday. So yeah, I mean, like, <laughs> It's, I don't know, I, well, okay, to answer the question with the quickness, yes. Okay. They are keeping Battle Rap alive as well as Loso, Award, and uh, Saga. So there's your starting five of those who are keeping Battle Rap alive. If anything, this is the Olympics. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's the Olympic Games. We, we're just happy we got players playing mm -hmm. and we get to see some basketball rolling around. Okay. But when it comes to uh, the, the bigger question is, is this helping or hurting them? I feel like it's helping, mm -hmm. but then it's hurting because, like I said, Gichi Gotti is one of those type of artists that he could do this every single week. You know what I'm saying? But uh, when you, if you look at what he's done since he's gotten here, he has a lot of battles. And if he's taking these guys in these little subsidiary one round, one round, one round here, it could potentially take away from battles that he could have in the future because exactly. he ain't got that many opponents. He's going to be battling me soon. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> is, he's running out of opponents. Now, he as an essential worker, he's keeping battle rap. He is the, the really the hottest name yeah. as far as because he's got a battle every fucking week. Like, every week. He's dropped the battle damn near every week of quarantine. He hasn't, had, he hasn't had a day off. None. Now, they deserve a raise. Well, I was thinking something else. Mm. I was thinking once everything opens back up, we don't see him. No, because that bag is different. I know the there's bag's little, gonna be different. Right but here, the thing no is, it's this. just it's we kinda gotta miss him. You know, know what I'm saying? Like unless unless we see them get they by like like unless we get them gonna see, they're gonna have to get trashed. Like the only way it's gonna happen. bodied. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, and uh, I don't so, see that. somebody talked about well speaking well one person kinda did, but you know, we we it's like a small circle, you know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna say nothing, but <laughs> It's it's definitely a loss on that list mm -hmm. from Ramiti. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying <laughs> black African power, but for Geechee and Rum, I do like so for Geechee because he is more, and I don't mean the and, and I don't mean any disrespect. It's more he's more basic. It's more of a one two. 
nigga, you do this, nigga, my team do this, or mm-hmm. nigga, I'll do headshot, it'll look like this, you know what I'm saying? He's more basic, whereas Rum Nitty, he's starting to water down his substances, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, he's starting to use more more name flips that we've already heard from somebody else before, you get what I'm saying? It's not as potent. Mm-hmm. And for that, I do think that they may need to, like, they may need to sit out when these big stages is coming. One, it helps... It helps the uh, the fond of thought. Like remember when? Uh, well, during the whole quarantine, Geechee and Rumble snap. Where they at now? Two, you know that bag is gonna be a different type of bag. But now let's, you want me. Let's be for real. Before the big stage left, Geechee got he was on fucking Billboard. Yeah. You know what I'm saying on the biggest battle, and he won three zero. You yeah. know what I'm saying in the battle of the future superstar, he trashed this nigga. You know what I'm saying? Like like literally, he trashed this nigga. Yeah. Like we ain't it ain't even nothing to talk about. Three zero. You know what I mean? So that happens, and now he's in quarantine, battling every day. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? Every fucking day. And I and trust me, he's literally working. I thank you because you bring in the view. I, I thank you. Love you. But uh, I was saying that with Romney and him, they battling a lot, and Romney just. I I don't really want to say got exposed. I just want to say he got he got caught lacking. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Let's just say it like that because. He had just battled Mike P like the day before. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And then he battles B Dot. And B Dot hadn't battled nobody the whole That's the thing. When you he's battle a, somebody that did not battle the whole fucking time yeah. and you're battling every day, of course they're gonna be able to have substance that's gonna be able to break you down. Because you battle every day. Yeah, I don't care how good you are. Yeah, but we kinda seen the same thing happen with Nitty and you know, like Nitty is one of those guys. JC is another one of those guys that just so happens to still show up and get three rounds. Mm-hmm. It's just this nitty was the underwhelming nitty, but it was still minute 30 mm-hmm. nitty, you know what I'm saying? Like it, it he didn't choke. Mm-hmm. He didn't have he, he didn't use no 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 runaway freestyle uh mixtape no, bars. No, no, no. You so it's like the only thing you can slight for Rum Nitty is, well, hmm, we kind of see it coming now. Or we're not as we're not as uh, uh excited to hear that punchline because it's not it's okay. crazy. Look at this, right? Um and you know, salute to everybody that rock with this shit, you know what I'm saying? Um we, we, we do this from the analytical perspective to try to give you the best point of view, like this is what we see. When you see uh, Geechee Gotti versus um, B-Magic, right? Mm-hmm. His first round was just a first round. Yeah. Like it was just plain Jane. It was like I had spaghetti last night mm-hmm. and spaghetti tonight. Mm-hmm. Missionary last night, missionary again tonight. It was just plain Jane. Second round, he levels up, yeah. and that's the reason why. And I know people's like, "Oh man, B dot, I mean, get, uh, Magic got 30. I gave Magic the first round because yeah. he gave me a little bit something more." And it was Magic's longest. And round. it was Magic's longest round. <laughs> but I'm like, I don't want get you to get caught at the stoplight like how uh, Nitty just did in his one versus B dot yeah. to learn that okay, maybe I need to take a second off. Now he has that hasn't happened to him yet, which is a good thing. But if you keep giving him names every fucking week, is he battling again today? Like. I just think that I, I love what he does. Yes. He's the West Central workers is what B Dot calls it. You know West what I'm saying? Central workers. They're, the, they're essential workers. They should be getting essential worker pay during this. Uh, you see, I got my Warriors on. Mm-hmm. Salute to the West Side. Um, but what I will say is, um, is, is amazing what these guys have been able to do. Yeah. Like, we love it. I, I, but I like the face to face battling more than the Yeah, I, I, I like the stir a lot. Listen, only you. I like that. I like that. You just gonna pull out. First of all, that song is older than every single battle rapper and battle rap fan. That song is older than Ice. Mm. That song. That song is older than Danny Myers. Mm-hmm. But anyway, but I love that song. It's, it's a very good uh, song. But anyway, um, the stir. I like the sterilized quarantine. Like I do because it's at least a face to face. And then, right. but the sterilized quarantine kind of ended up being a a, a sterilized one off. Mm-hmm. And I thought one off was going to be a different type of vibe. It was supposed to be, you know what I'm saying? Like they are, I get it because of the situation. You kind of got to mesh all of your ideas together. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? But certain things you could just name it what it is. Don't call it quarantine sterilized. Just call it a, a beat out and uh, rum nitty one off. Just call mm-hmm. it the one off okay. quarantine style. You know what I'm saying? Um, I like all of that. Um, the social distancing from ARP is, is, is dope. I like it. it. I just want that. I need, I, I do need that face to face. I do need that animosity. I also, um, you know what else I like and don't like? What? I like the fact that, because um, uh, uh, we're supposed to be having another battle coming soon, um, the quarantine style. Mm-hmm. But you know what I miss the most? What? Anticipation. 
Oh. I feel like we're now vlogging or blogging on in hindsight. Right, it already right, happened. Right. Mm -hmm. We don't even have the chance to talk about the yeah, idea. No up or nothing, yeah. nothing. You know what I'm saying? And and that is, I think that's what um like that's where we need a better mix. Because right now you just feel like all of the leagues are just giving us battles, giving us battles, giving right, us battles. Right, right. Because we ain't doing nothing. When in all actuality, it's the anticipation. It, Give us something to look forward to mm -hmm. so that we can take each day as quarantine. Like, instead of going, oh, man, well, I'm, I'm chilling today. Let me just watch these six, seven videos. Or at least let me go, mm, well, right, right, I got to right, right. spend out my time. Right, That's right. Yeah, anticipation for me. I dig it. Um, okay. Think we, we think it's fair. We leave it here. Mm. We'll be back with some more shit. Mac with a full clip. RiceGameClothing.com. Log on for the merchandise. You heard me, right? And always remember, nobody's fly. Slim Savage, Slim Lincoln, Slim Nick Infinity Don't need you to confirm what I'm finna be I can wind it down with my enemies I can show the blind what I get to see I can teach the why something interesting Change the paralysis, not feeling me I can close the fine identity Licks and poems, zippers I wrote Just another nigga different, I know Learn to love my roots as I grow Many want a noose on my throat The last of a dying breed Ready to war for what I believe I know many people fight to breathe Told my nephew be twice as me Know a lot of niggas drug Know a lot of niggas love killing. Know a lot of niggas love dripping. Know a lot of niggas love pimping. But I'm still me and never change. Super sci fi and love living. Have a queen in mind and love chilling. Have a chrome of mines I love gripping. See, perpetration ain't a thing. Cause I split fast like Johnny Cage. Wanna see what a lion raise. I don't listen to what Simon says. I display what my mind creates. Then a lot of people change for the school. They not my head on my sci fi thriller. Born in the boot, but I'm an H nigga working towards eight figures. Save for the sci fi. You can't teach me. Cause I know different You can't rule here I control different Do what you do It makes no difference